Hello everybody. In this video, I go to show you what is the role of the power switch in turning on and off the high frequency solar inverter. Here, the schematic of the battery SPS. Here, this is the socket of the switch, this one, suppose that the power source of the solar inverter is the battery. When the user turn on this switch, the internal lid of this optocoupler turn it on. This optocoupler is this one. And this capacitor start to charge. And this time, this transistor turn it on. This small SMD one. It is an PNP transistor. Sorry, this one, this one. It is a, an NPN transistor, SMD. <coughs> When this transistor start on, I'll switch it on, the base of this transistor is switched to the battery terminal, the minus battery terminal, and this trans transistor is switched on for a second. When this transistor, the small one, PNP transistor, when it is switched on, we have a current and a voltage to the VCC pin of this UC or this IC. And in this case, this IC start work and when it is start working this battery SPS start to deliver power to the uh, high frequency solar inverter an internal coil and a small circuit formed by a diode and a, a capacitor. This is the capacitor and this is the diode. <coughs> and this is the coil. Deliver a feedback voltage equal to 15 volt DC voltage to the DCC pin to this UC and the voltage across the uh, the two pins 5 and 7 of this UC increase from 8.4 to 15 volt when the microcontroller start working, it sent a signal to uh, this transistor to uh, deliver voltage and current to the VCC pin via this optocoupler, the yellow uh, one 
and the LED, internal LED of this uh, optocoupler work until the signal stops. When the user press the, uh, this button and switch it off, this LED stop and the microcontroller know that the user switched off the switch and it stopped the signal to this optocoupler and uh, it start the sequence of turning off the uh, high frequency solar inverter and then the inverter switches off. 